Hi, this video talks about RAII and it builds on the previous video, which was about C++ classes, C++ classes and dynamic memory. So this is a solution to a particular problem, and that problem is remembering to use the delete operator. Remember, as we talked about in the previous video, that every time you allocate dynamic memory with the new keyword, you have to then later use the delete keyword to free that memory. And it's easy to forget this. It's difficult to maintain the discipline, especially in a complicated function or a complicated set of code where the new and delete might be happening in different functions to remember to do this perfectly every time. Therefore, memory leaks are a real problem and it's a common problem in practice. This is what causes long running programs to use more and more memory over time, which is pretty unpopular with users. Web browsers are particularly notorious for having this problem. One solution to this problem is RAII. I've got a link there to a thorough explanation of RAII. It's an acronym that stands for Resource Allocation is Initialization. And that's really what it is. It means that resource allocation, such as memory allocation, literally is the same thing as initialization. It's not kind of related to that. It literally is that. If we make that a little bit more concrete, that means that when you allocate memory, that happens at exactly the same moment that you initialize a class object. And then conversely, freeing memory happens at exactly the moment when an object is destroyed. So a goal in our C++ code is that all resource management happens automatically by constructors and destructors. The constructor is the place that's responsible for new and the destructor is the place that's responsible for delete. So new only happens when you're initializing an object in a constructor or a constructor-like operation, like a copy constructor or an assignment operator. But when you're initializing an object, that's where new happens, and that's the only place when new happens. Conversely, the destructor is responsible for deleting precisely what the constructor allocated with new. And if you get that right, then there should be no memory leaks ever. If a constructor uses new on a few objects and a destructor uses delete on those objects, memory leaks should never happen. And if you follow this RAII discipline consistently, your code should have new, no memory leaks at all. I should mention this applies to other resources aside from memory. For example, when you open a file, you have a responsibility to close that file. Or if you open a socket, you have a responsibility to close that socket. If you create a thread, you have a responsibility to clean up that thread. So RAII applies to any of those resource management situations. But to try to keep this focused right now, we're focusing just on memory management with new and delete. A related concept here is that every object has a defined owner. And an owner is a piece of code. It would be a class or a function. The owner is the only piece of code that's allowed to allocate that object with new. And since that's the only place where the object could be allocated with new, that's also the only place that could possibly be responsible for freeing the object with delete. This is something we talk about when we write code and document code. Uh, we will say that a given object has a certain owner. We say that's the owner. So for example, the vector class is the owner of the elements stored in that vector. That means that the vector is the one and only piece of code responsible for allocating an array to store those elements inside the vector. And likewise, that vector is the one and only piece of code responsible for eventually freeing an array to store those elements. So when we're using RAII, a class either owns an object or borrows it. Those are the two choices, and there's no middle ground between that. If a class owns an object, it's a data member of the class. The class is responsible for allocating with new and for freeing with delete. If a class is not the owner of an object, it just borrows that object. That means you can look at it. You can refer to that object through a pointer or reference, but as a non-owner borrower, you can never new or delete that object. Here's an example. The standard string class is the built-in data type for text in C++, which we call a string usually. And actually, it obeys RAII, with a little exception I'll mention in a moment. It, the standard string class was defined before RAII was invented. Uh, however, 
it actually obeys these principles. So the standard string class, it's a class, and it is the owner of a C style string, a char star string. This is a array of char elements that are allocated with new and delete. So standard string is responsible for allocating that char star array. Standard strings destructor tilde string is responsible for deleting that char star array. But no member function in standard string allows a user of standard string to access that array or assign to it or delete it. Therefore, char star will never leak that array. There's no way that someone can create a string object and then go in there and delete the array out from under the string class. It's only the destructor's responsibility to do that, and that's the only piece of code that can delete that array. The one little footnote there is technically there is an accessor called C underscore STR that does give you visibility into that char star array. Technically, if you abuse that function, you could override these RAII principles. That's a little bit of a defect in this design. It's necessary for backwards compatibility with C libraries that need char star strings. Anyway, in order to program with RAII, we obey the single responsibility principle. There's a link there to a whole page about the single responsibility principle. This is a best practice in code design that says that every class is responsible for only one concern. And a concern in programming is one thing that the code needs to do, one feature it needs to have. So for example, one concern could be implementing a data structure like string, vector, or list. Another concern could be enforcing RAII style memory management. That's the new delete management process. A different concern might be a concept from your business logic. For example, the date class from the earlier video that represents a calendar date or the name class that represents a human being's name with a first name and a last name string. Each of those things is a concern and ideally a class only deals with one of those things at a time in order to stay simple. So one way of accomplishing this is to use the built-in data structures when you can. C++ has a standard string, standard vector, standard list, and other similar data structures implemented. Those are defined to use these RAII principles. So if you need to store data in a structure and you use those built-in structures that are designed well, then they will manage memory for you and you don't have to worry about new delete. If you do need to get it into lower level details and deal with pointers and allocating memory for some reason, then it's a best practice to use the smart pointers in the standard library, standard unique pointer and standard shared pointer, and there's a couple others for corner cases. And these are pointers to an object allocated in dynamic memory. The pointer class is responsible for using new and delete appropriately to manage memory. So if you need a pointer to an object, and you use unique pointer or shared pointer, that unique pointer class or shared pointer class is responsible for getting memory management right. You don't have to think about it again. And that's a good thing. It blocks these memory leak bugs from happening at all.